I know, I know what you're thinking. Marissa, you said you weren't gonna project pan this year and here you are. <laughs> Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I never say my name, but my name's Marissa. If you guys didn't know, <laughs> if you're new here, what's up? Hit the subscribe button if you like this video, if you like videos like these. Um, I do do project pans. As much as I try to resist, I can't resist. Um, so I do do project pans, I do unboxings, um, tutorials of the whole nine, three looks using whatever palette you'd like. Um, and yeah, so if you like those kind of videos, definitely subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Tell everyone and they mama to subscribe. And um, yeah, this video, obviously we are doing a 20 and 2020 project pan. I know, what am I thinking? What's wrong with me? We have a lot of like, I, I, I'm making a lot of curves for myself so that I can personally um, kind of accomplish this goal better and so that project painting is more fun for me and my personal um, like style. So um, if you like this version, definitely jump in this kind of way that I'm doing it. Definitely jump in. And so yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so I actually have um, 22 products picked out. So what I did was I actually got the, okay, my phone, I'm filming on my phone. I actually got this random Iser app, whatever the one, um, 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 the one everyone and their mother has. You could just look at, if you just, I, I literally just looked it up in the app store, said random, and then it came up a bunch of randomizers. So I got those, I got a spinning wheel, and then I got a number counter. And so I was trying to do it a bunch of different ways. I was like, okay, why don't I just pick random categories and then let the product pick the random products and then we'll do it that way. But personally, I was like, there's still products that I want to use up personally that I know won't get used up if I'm focusing on a different product. And so I decided to go like this. And this is how it became 20 in 2020 um, was I pick a product um, that I wanted to pan and then the randomizer picks a product. So um, we do have... 10 well 12 uh sorry 11 11 of my picks and 11 random picks is that 22 yes <laughs> um and so i decided to go for to do for every step of my makeup now there are some categories that are like a little bit like i only have two mascaras so and i go through mascara normally so i wasn't gonna throw mascara in here um setting spray i go through setting spray normally and i only have i have three but this one is almost done so it was just it was just not it, it didn't make sense to put that category in there um and then eyeshadow um is kind of on its own little journey um so that's kind of i guess it's the 23rd product is an eyeshadow but i don't count it in this project pan i just count it as a different kind of project if you will but we'll talk about it in this video um so first product um that the randomizer picked out was this elf hydrating face primer prime on the go which i was actually excited about because i've been using this every single day um all my stuff have little avenger stickers on them <laughs> everything um I guess maybe I should talk about that first. Uh, all of it has stickers on it because I'm not going to be doing monthly updates. I think I haven't decided if I want to do every three months or if I want to do every or if I want to do like a six months and then the finale. Just do a few um, updates and that's it because I want to I don't want to feel like I have to use these products every single day. I want to still rotate my stuff. I still want to shop my stash for different products but um I want these to be the products that I actually use up and um so inevitably I'll be using these more than the other products yes but it, I feel like monthly updates if I do it monthly I feel like I have to have progress monthly and then so then January to February I'm only using this one primer that I am going to be only using for the rest of the year too. So then I'm, I'm neglecting all my other products. And so that's one thing I really, that's one big thing why I didn't want a project pan this year. And so that's what I'm trying to kick the curve by not feeling obligated to have and progress every single month, you know? Um, so, um, and then that's kind of the cool thing of having two for each category. Um, like my picks is one, some, some products I know that I'll be able to use in the summer. Some products I know I'll only be able to use in the fall. So, um, kind of that was the balance that I felt. I could make you know um so if you want to do this go ahead maybe you can do, do five products even um five products you pick five products the randomizer um super fun super fresh whatever you like um i still feel like a good balance is what i get to pick and then what the randomizer picks so um yes 
All right, I'm probably gonna have more to say because I always forget, but anyway. The first product, starting with primer, the randomizer picked was again, like I mentioned, the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer Prime on the go. They actually just, did just put this back on their website. I know they had it for a while, then they didn't have it. Now they have it again. I think it's like six bucks. I really like this. It is very silicone-y, and so I can't use it by itself. And so the one I've been using normally every day, every day I do my makeup, it's on today, um, is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminate Face Oil. And they both stay in my like mini fridge because they keep it keeps it cool and it just is so nice for my face um so this combination has been working very very well for me and i know that i can use up this product with kind of any oily and i have two different i have this oil and i have one other um oil based kind of primer and so i feel like i can use this up with this oil and it will be perfect then they'll both be done and again i've been using these non-stop every day and so um we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty, pretty good with here. Again, they have the stickers on them. Um, and so, yeah, really excited about these. I know I can use these up. No fear here. No fear. Foundation. Uh, I don't know if I'm afraid. Okay, so the randomizer pick this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I have the shade F12.2. Um, it is way too dark for me right now, but I've been using it actually as a cream contour, and it is very nice like that. I don't have it on today, but I've just been um, dabbing it on, dabbing it on, dabbing it on the forehead. Using, using this stippling brush, blending it out, and it is just flawless. So I think I can use this up for sure. So um, in the summer, I'll definitely be able to use it, but like in the winter, come winter, whatever, I'll be able to use this as well because I've been using it as cream contour and I really, really like it like that. Um, and so yeah, I'm not nervous about this one really at all. I feel like I can do it. Yeah, I feel like I can do it. I feel like I can do it. So then I kind of picked, um, this is the Elf Falls Finish Foundation in the shade Almond. So this is, I'm wearing this today. It is one of my oldest, it is my oldest foundation. Um, it's only like probably six months old or something like that. It's really not super, super old, but, um, it's old enough. And so I don't want it to sit in my collection. I've been using it every day for so long. Um, it's probably like halfway, if not less. I use the, uh, this is my favorite foundation. Definitely will repurchase. Um, uh, there are some foundations on at Ulta that I'm like, I need those. And so they're both in my cart right now. And so when I get like enough money, I probably will purchase those, but I want to use these up first. And so, um, this one I think will be used up first. You can see like where the, it separates right there. And I think like it's a little bit lower than that. So I have no, I have faith in that one. Okay. So then next is concealer and the randomizer picked this Joa all brushed up creamy concealer. Um, it's really funny. I have the shade medium. I've only used this once in my life once. Um, I'm actually going to be doing, um, in a few weeks, I'm going to be doing a second impressions video because I have a bunch of products that I've literally used once and then have not touched. And it's just because um, I've been wanting to use the products that I want to use, basically. Um, and I was in a show for a while, so I was only using the same products for like two weeks straight. Um, and so I haven't touched these in a while. And so now I'm kind of saving them for that video of second impressions. But I really like this. It is a very creamy concealer. So you do use a lot of it if you want to really build it up, pack it up. Um, so I really enjoyed this. Um, so then I keep kind of picked a gimme concealer um this is the bh studio pro total coverage concealer in the shade number 113 i am wearing it right now um i freaking love it it's one of my favorites it's one of my favorites it's beautiful i love the way it looks on the under eye um and uh, the reason why it's kind of like a gimme is because i've been using it every day for so long i feel like it's probably almost done like i should have no problem finishing this up by summer let alone by the end of the uh, by the end of the year so um i have no worries about this one i love this concealer so much so i do use a lot of it um, I do use it a lot, so no fear, like I just said. Let me know if I like mention what I'm wearing in the video, like if I say like, hey, I'm wearing this BH Studio Pro Concealer, um, do you, is, I don't know how to phrase this question, is it better if I still post it down in the description box below? Like, would you rather, um, it's be both places so you could still find it instead of watching the video like over again um in case if you want to look at it or is it fine that i just mention it and don't put it in the description box for this video i think i'll put it in both but just let me know for future references and yes okay next is powder and powder is kind of easy i only had two powders in my collection but but i actually did the random thing i did this i picked the powders before i realized um before i started doing like i don't need these products um I only have two of them, um, and they're both loose powders, so I think, again, like, um, I don't know, it's still a challenge, but it's not too overwhelming. Um, so this is the Becca's Hydra Mist Set and Refresh 
uh, powder. Um, it's in the, I think it's in just original shade. There's not much left. You can see it's down um, to there. I honestly, I use it every day. I set my entire face with it. It's not my favorite. Um, but this one's really important to get out um, because um, it's it, it's, it has a cooling sensation. And so once that's gone, it's just nothing. It, it's literally just nothing but powder. <laughs> and so um, I definitely want to use it up before that cooling phase goes away. I picked this product. I didn't mention that. But I picked this one because, again, I want the cooling to go away. And the randomizer picked the Ciate one. Um, and this is the Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I've only used this once as well. I'm saving this for the second impressions as well. But that's okay because I'll be working on the other products Um in the meantime um i like i used up a little mini sample of this and i really did love it but i don't remember like why or haven't used it in like a year so honestly um it's really like a, a brand new product and so i'm really excited about it so i keep saying so <laughs> all right and then next is bronzer bronzer-esque kind of products the randomizer picked this tarte park avenue princess bronzer and i was like yes Thank you. I've been trying to put on this product for so freaking long, um, and it does not budge. I literally wear it every single, every single day, every day. Not gonna lie, I'm not even lying. I'm wearing it today. I wore it yesterday. I wore it the day before. Every time I wear makeup, I put this bronzer on because I want it gone. And I love this bronzer. It's absolutely stunning. But like, it's one of the completioner in me, the completioner in me. Like, I just want to use it up. Um, it's been in a mini's project pan. It is really hard. You do get, um. Does it, is it not going to tell me? You get three grams of product, which is actually not a lot um, um, when you think about it. But, like, it it's been taking me so long. So, um, I'm really excited about this. I, I want to, I think I'm going to get it done, hopefully by summer. Um, I, I'm going to use this completely up. So, hopefully we hit pan by summer. And then um, by next, like, uh, fall, uh, um, we can use it up. I feel like the summer though I won't get a lot of use out of it. I really like it for winter, fall, because it has like a kind of almost contouring kind of aspect to it. So it's really nice and bronzy, um, but not super bronzy like summer bronzy. It's like very like bronze up the face kind of bronze for like fall, <laughs> for like pasty fall, you know. Um, so I really love this product. I just, I really have been trying to hit pan on it so bad. So I actually want to use this one up. There are some products that I just want to hit pan on. This one I want to use up. All right, next is um, a product I picked, and I picked this Fenty Matchstick in the shade Cinnamon. I've been trying for so long to use it up. There's not a lot left, um, and honestly, I haven't decided if I'm going to dig it out or anything like that. Um, the problem is, like, obviously, I'm not going to use this and the Tarte Bronzer at the same time. They're kind of generally the same product. One is just cream, one is powder. This is just has, they have the same kind of glow, contour-esque kind of bronze so i feel like like i can't use them at the same time but i feel like this one i can use definitely f till summer and then this one i'll be real, like using more in summer or i don't know even if i just give this like a week and use it i'll probably get it done because literally there's not a lot left but um i don't know this is again kind of a gimme but i picked it so should be a gimme <laughs> all right next is blush and the randomizer actually picked i wanted it to pick one of my elf blushes they're like the studio blushes because i have had five decluttered two of them so now i had three i picked candid coral and i was like <laughs> see what had happened was <laughs> this one is very beautiful blush topper if on me it doesn't work as a blush because obviously it's very light but i love it as a blush topper but i was thinking in the summer i could use it as like a body a body like powder this has nothing on it like just literally setting the skin with it kind of giving it the glow and it does you can you can't see it on camera but in person oh yeah you can a little bit it just gives the a nice glow so i'm thinking of using it like that because it's not super like fake like a highlighter gives but it's kind of nice so i think i can use this as like a setting powder blush top or anything over the summer like i think that'll be my best bet here um body glow anything like that i feel like that'll just be again my best bet so um i'm excited about this because i just i do want to just hit pan on it but i'm really excited about it because again i don't use these ever and so i need to push myself and then the blush i will push whoa the blush i rolled in was on my cheeks today and this is actually uh three eyeshadow singles this is from the kathleen lights and color pop dream shoe palette um it's the shade potion spark and what are you 
I didn't even try though. And Magical. And this is my favorite blush of life. Now again, I just want to hit pan on them. They are like this eyeshadow is freaking all the way to the top. So I don't know how we'll do. Especially because blush is literally the hardest thing to use up. So I, I don't know why I decided to basically use three different products as a blush. But um, I'm really excited about it. I really think I can do it. I really want to do it. And and if I feel like I'm by the end of it, I'm in a rut and I don't want it as a blush anymore, I can put them back as eyeshadows and use them as eyeshadows um, or something. But I feel like right now I'm really loving it as a blush. So yes please okay so next is highlighters and i do again have two the randomizer picked this essence pure nude highlighter in the shade number 10 be my highlight and now the only thing i was bummed about this because one i've been using it as a setting powder as well uh not as well but i've been using it as a setting powder and so because i felt like i could use candid coral as like a kind of glow powder um i didn't want two glow powders in this product project but um this is too light for me in the summer so i felt like okay this one I'll use in the summer. This one I'll use in the fall and cross my fingers and hope that it freaking works. <laughs> because I have been using this quite a bit. And if I don't know if you guys can see, but there are some like holes in it. Um, and it's probably a waffle because it's a big product. Product is probably a waffle pan or something under there. Hopefully. Um, um, and there like there's some marks in it. So I feel like I've been making good progress. But literally, this is going to be the hardest product probably in this project pan. Um... And it's a beautiful highlighter and again it's a beautiful like glowy kind of powder as well but um um it's a baked product there's a lot of product in here there is there's 6.5 grams felicia that's a lot <laughs> that is a lot a lot um the this one doesn't have how many grams is in um this one but i'm assuming it's not 6. freaking five so um we'll see again i just want to hit pan on it i don't know how that would even work for a big kind of product like this but we'll see i don't know um i feel like though the reason like uh, the, why i was okay with having 22 products was because if really like something like this i literally cannot do i won't feel disappointed i'll still be able to use up 20 products by the end of the year you know all right and the highlighter that i chose was a weird one this is the tarte highlighter in the shade study sesh i love this highlighter it's so beautiful so beautiful let me i'm trying to get a brunch give me a brunch it is okay i have a lot of highlighter on already but it is absolutely stunning it is one of the prettiest and i don't wear it a lot and again i just want to hit pan on this one um but i have so many um i don't i have so i have oh, i have four highlighters but again a lot of them are big like this like my ofra highlighters are massive um and so i want to use um um some other ones you can see there's a little bit of a dip right here i want to first obviously wear the thing the pattern down um that'll feel, feel like a, an accomplishment to me and then um try to work on hitting pan on this we'll see this one again my highlighters are probably going to be freaking the hardest um but whatever we'll see sorry then next is brows um we don't have too many products left but next is brows and so um the randomizer actually picked my benefit precise, precisely my brow in the shade 4.5 which again is great i had some new brow pencils in the randomizer and i was scared i actually have this elf like brow pomade kind of thing that's in the randomizer and i was like no 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 um and so i picked this one and i was like yes because there's not a lot of product left in here um um ugh. that's as far as it goes there's really not a lot left and i'm kind of excited about this and because it's so precise you use quite a bit of it up at a time and I, this has been the one that i've been using every single day um for the past week or whatever and i probably will be using for a while um and then this next one is actually the wander beauty the one that i picked was the wander beauty frame your face micro brow pencil in the shade taupe and that's exactly why i picked it because it's the shade taupe and um i don't like like it doesn't need to sit in my collection if i just use it which I'll probably use this mostly mixed with other brow pencils because again, it's the shade soap and it's not my shade. Um, I'm trying to roll it up because there is quite a bit of product. Okay, there's that much product left, which is uh, might be a lot for it because I don't use a lot of it because it's the wrong shade. Um, that is quite a bit, but I feel like I could do it by the end of the year. Um, brow pencils are easy and if I just continue to mix them, um, we'll be okay. I think the combination of these will be really nice and I could use them both of them. So we'll skip eyeshadow, we'll talk about that in, at the end. We have eyeliner. So the randomizer picked the Suva Beauty Grease Matte Hydro, hydro Liner. <laughs> 
yeah in the shade grease duh um and i have a quite a big dip in it but it's not big enough um so i definitely want to just hit pan on this nothing more i have quite a few eyeliners so this one might be a tough one felicia i can't even get it open okay literally cannot get it open i wish you guys could see yeah you could see a little bit there was a huge dip in it already but nowhere near the bottom and so um that one's gonna be a hard one especially because i did pick another eyeliner this is the um Kat Von D lock it liner again this is an easy one though just because i've had it for so long you can see all the words have rubbed off i've had it since june so i've been using it for quite a while i have it on today i love it it is beautiful uh one one of the best eyeliners ever honestly it, it's an allure winner it's a uh a, a, a sephora bestseller like it is a good one um so i really enjoy it it's just i don't need 12 eyeliners you know so um there's that okay next is lips and actually four lip products i picked two lip i picked for lip gloss and then I picked for just lips in general. So lip liners, lip sticks, liquid lipsticks, all that jazz. So the lip gloss that it picked was this Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. I'm wearing it right now. I was so excited about this. I feel like this is going to be easy because first of all, there's not a lot left. And second of all, I love this product. Yeah, if I roll it down, it's all the way down to like right there. So should not be hard. Should be easy. Definitely will take the stopper out. I will go the whole nine for this product because I love it. The fact that I rolled in was this NYX Lingerie Gloss in the shade Euro Trash. I love this gloss as well. It is so stunning, but it is the oldest gloss in my collection. I figure it smells so good still, um, and I don't want it to go bad. You can see like kind of through it. Uh, you guys can't, but I can. Um, there's not a lot left. Again, this should be easy. Okay. Another product that should be kind of easy is one that I picked. This is the for lipstick category, or lips category. This is the Joa lipstick in the shade sorry not sorry it is this pretty pink shade which i'm so excited for for the springtime because it's kind of like a balm you just kind of like throw it on and it looks stunning i have it on like kind of in the center of my lips that's what makes it look a little bit more juicy and a little bit more pink in the center of my lips um and i, I freaking love this product again it is a very good one um and the randomizer actually picked a new product and i was like <laughs> i don't even know if i if i'm gonna like this this is the kylie jenner um what are you, the velvet, uh, something, the velvet lipstick in the shade Charm. And again, I haven't used it yet at all. I'm saving it for a video. It smells delicious, and it's a very small size, so it shouldn't be too hard. But I was like, girl, I don't even know if I like the formula. Why would you do this to me? But whatever, we're gonna, we're gonna take it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. That one's probably, we have some very hard products in here. But, um, I feel like... We'll, we'll make a lot of progress here. All right, and then for the eyes, I actually put most of it in this, all of it in this Itzy palette. Um, this, I have a bunch of color, okay, a bunch. I have a couple more ColourPop shades right here. This one I think I'll hit pan on next. I do want to use these up. I want to get my ColourPop Dream Shoe palette out of this, out of my collection. Um, it was my pen that palette for last year, and I made a lot of progress on it, as you can see. Okay. I've used up this entire shade, hit huge pan on this, hit pan on this. I have three shades here that I know I like, I, there's just no way. Um, this one I might keep, but I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll finagle with this after like we hit pan on every, or use up every single shade. Um, so those are the three that I felt like were easy and that I would use. Ooh, it bends back. Um, that were easy. I felt like I would use. I have this one in the center of my eye today. I have this one in my crease. It's just, I feel like it is, I love this shade too. And there's a huge dip in it. So that one definitely I'll hit pan on next, but, um, I just wanted things in here that I use. And then the bigger shades are actually my Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajama Palette, if you can see it right back there. Um, uh, I picked, again, some shades that I knew I could use up. These four, these one, two, three, four, five. These five are right here from that palette. And again, I have this one, like, mixed in my crease. I have this one in my outer corner and inner corner. Sorry, outer corner and inner corner. I just, and then I, am like, have this one in my crease somewhere as well. I have a, I, I, these are just easy shades that I know I can use and are beautiful for right now, this time of the year. Um, and then some of these rest of these shades are from the, um, the actual palette. I got this in Ipsy and so from Itsy. <laughs> and so um, some of those shades are just in there because of that. Like this top row. These two right here I'm probably not going to hit pan on. But this one I might be able to because I love this shade. Um, so we'll just see. I, I just definitely want to use up a lot of these shadows. Hit pan on a lot of them. The bigger ones definitely hit pan. The smaller ones I want to use up. Um, I, again, I want to keep rolling eyeshadows out of my collection. And the Laura Lee Los Angeles and the and the Dream Shoe palette are the oldest two collections collections in my palette 
are the oldest, oldest two palettes in my collection so i feel like i'm those are the first that i should try to go roll out and they're shades that i love so it shouldn't be hard so um yeah guys we got a lot of work to do again i won't be updating every single day oh sorry every month i will update you guys probably um in a few months maybe four months um maybe six months i don't know when i feel like it um i'll update you when i feel like we have a lot of progress i'll update you but honestly we won't have a lot for a while um and so yeah i'm just gonna we we read <laughs> i'm just gonna read this quick devotional if you want more faith then you're going to need more prayer as you pray you learn to trust uh trust the god who who answers prayers it is like exercise the more weight you lift the stronger your body gets and the more you pray the stronger your faith gets neglect neglecting god's call to prayer leads to spiritual weakness and failure if you want more trust if you want more hope more faith and more strength then you need more prayer you can't let your prayer take the back seat in your life it has to be the most important part of your day. It sets the tone for your life. Without it, your faith is useless and weak. It is so true, guys. Um, make sure prayer is like the first thing that you're doing. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.